Yo! What is going on guys? In today's video, we are going to be talking about 20 different types of Fortnite players and I want you guys to tell me which one you are. Before we get into this video guys, if you do want to help support the channel, make sure to go down and hit that subscribe button. YouTube is telling me that 85% of you guys watching this video right now are not subscribed to the channel, so make sure if you aren't already subscribed to go down and smack that button. We are on the road to 200,000 subscribers and every single one of you guys that hits that subscribe button helps me out so, so much. Remember as well guys to go down and leave a like, let's try and reach 3,000 likes on this video that would help me out a lot and leave a comment down below letting me know what kind of Fortnite player you are. If you guys are going to pick anything up in the item shop remember to use my code KyroYT as well but let's get straight into the video. Starting us off in the number 20 position, we have the Competitive Warrior. These are the players that only play scrims, you don't usually see them playing normal arena or even public matches, but they are going to be some absolute scrim gods. They did usually play arena at the start of the season and probably grinded their way up to at least 20,000 arena points. These are going to be some of the best players in your lobby and will definitely have some earnings too. These are always going to be the players that when they die, I challenge you to a 1v1 straight away. And you know that these players are always going to win. Moving on to the number 19 position, guys. We have the item shop collectors. These are the people that check the item shop as soon as it updates every single game. Even if they are in the middle of a Fortnite match, they are going to leave it straight away to see what is brand new in the item shop. Chances are these are going to be some of the best lockers as well well they are going to own all of the exclusive skins that has ever been added to the game and always buy the brand new skins when they do release even if they don't like the way these skins look these are some of the rarest players in the game as well especially the people that do own all of the exclusive skins most of these are going to be pros and content creators but I'm sure there are some of you out there watching this video right now moving on to the number 18 position guys we have the Overbuilders. We all know what the Overbuilders are. They are the players that get shot once and they instantly start cranking 90s and doing some crazy edits. You will always find these Overbuilders grinding out creative. They are going to have some of the best building mechanics in the game, but they probably don't have the best aim. You will definitely see a lot of these in public matches and always arena too. Their skills aren't the best at the moment, but if they do keep grinding, they will definitely be some of the best players in Fortnite over the next few seasons. Moving on to the number 17 position guys, we have the Toxic Dancer. The Toxic Dancers are the players that emote on everyone they kill and always make sure they use either the Laugh It Up emote or even some of the brand new TikTok emotes. They don't own too many skins or too many pickaxes in Fortnite, but the one thing they always spend their V-Bucks on are the brand new Toxic Dancers. These guys definitely make other people rage all the time and they probably don't care whether they win or lose as long as they can emote on at least a few people every game. I'm sure we all know someone that is a toxic dancer and make sure to let me know who it is in the comments down below. Moving on to the number 16 position, we have the casual player. These are the people that only play Fortnite once or twice a week because they are too busy to grind out the game. They are more often than not going to be controller players as well and have some absolutely cracked aim assist. Their building mechanics probably aren't the best because they don't really play creative. The only time that they do have to play the game they're going to spend playing either solos or with their friends. When these casual players do log on they probably will get one win or two but they really don't care if they die every game as long as they are having some fun with their friends. Moving on to the number 15 position guys, we have the noob. Now I'm sure we have all been a noob or a bot at least once in our Fortnite careers, but these are the players in their squad that are always getting downed. They probably do get a few kills by getting some lucky shots on enemies when they are on some really low health, but they always have to be rebooted at least once or twice every game. They are also known as kind of like a distraction and distract the enemies while 
their sweaty teammates can finish them off. I'm sure we have all been a noob at some point in our Fortnite careers, and honestly, I am still definitely a noob at Fortnite. Moving on to the number 14 position, we have the Medic. Every squad out there has at least one Medic in their team, and these are basically the players that carry at least three different types of meds in their loadout. Usually it is an assault rifle, a shotgun, a kind of fish, fully stacked med kits, and of course six minis as well. But now that we have an exotic slurp cannon, it is actually possible for these medics to carry no guns at all. This is absolutely insane, and these players are definitely going to help their team secure that victory royale, but they probably won't be able to do much damage if they come across a full squad. Their whole role is to literally just heal their teammates. I don't know about you guys, but I would much prefer being one of the sweatier players in your squad than the medic, but if you guys are the medic, make sure to let me know in the comments down below. Moving on to the number 13 position, we have the Bush Hider. These are pretty self-explanatory, they hide in bushes. Now these players are always going to land in quiet locations, probably towards the ends of the bus route and land somewhere where no one else is going to land. They are going to stack up on meds as well, and more often than not they will probably try and do a heal off in the final circle. They will definitely get a few kills in every game they play and will definitely make final circle as well. They are going to be experts in hiding and probably probably spend quite a bit of their time playing creative hide and seek maps. Moving on to the number 12 position, we have the creative players. These are the players that only play creative and are definitely going to be some of the best players on your friends list. Not only are they going to be god builders, but they will definitely be doing a lot of box fighting as well. And of course the brand new 50 player zone wars game mode. So they are definitely going to be some amazing Fortnite players. You definitely don't want to 1v1 these because their skills are going to be so, so good. They are going to know every retake in their game, and their favorite YouTuber is probably either Cultures or Faze Sway. These creative gods will definitely be making Fortnite highlight videos for their YouTube channel and will either have YouTube or Twitch in their Fortnite name. Moving on to the number 11 position, we have the fake pros. Now, these players are very, very similar to the creative players that we just talked about, but they are very different in one simple way. These players are going to destroy anyone in creative build fights or even zone wars. However, when they do switch back to public game modes or even arena, they somehow forget everything they learnt about retakes and free building and end up looking like the biggest bots in the lobby. This is actually more common than you might think. A lot of people do practice a lot of retakes and a lot of creative builds, but they don't really translate those skills to pubs. But hopefully sooner rather than later, they can learn how to translate all of their skills from creative into arena matches. Coming in at the number 10 position, guys, we have the hot droppers. There are two different kinds of hot droppers in Fortnite. The first one are going to be the players that only drop at Salty Towers. They do this because it is the most populated place on the map, and of course, pretty much everyone lands here every single game. They are either going to pop off and have at least 10 kills right away, or they're going to pretty much die and just do the exact same thing again. But the second style of hot droppers is the one that isn't really talked about as much anymore. These are the players that jump out of the bus straight away and land at the first location they can and will always look for some easy kills straight away. Coming in at number 9, we have meme strats only. These are the players that use meme skins like the Devourer or even the Lil Whip skin and they are only going to do meme strats in Fortnite. This is obviously going to include sky bases and of course course pickaxe only and so many other challenges. Their favorite YouTubers are probably Fresh or Laserbeam and all of the other Fortnite memers on YouTube. You don't really see too many memers anymore and that is basically because Fortnite has become so tryhard you can never really build a sky base without it being shot down pretty much instantly. Moving on to the number 8 position guys, we have the Sweats. These are the players that are going to be the best on your friends list and of course the Sweats sweatiest player in every single lobby. Not only are they creative warriors, but they probably have a lot of arena points too. They mostly play public matches basically because they can get easy wins, and of course they will definitely have some high kills solo 
solo squad wins as well. They probably have a lot of arena points, but they do tend to play public matches a lot more because they can show off their skills a little bit better. We all know someone that is a sweat, so let me know in the comments down below if you guys are the sweat on your friends list. Moving on to the number seven position, guys, we have the collab fans. These are the Fortnite players that own pretty much every single crossover item that has ever been added to the game. From Marvel to DC and even the brand new Gaming Legends series, they are also going to own pretty much every single icon skin that has ever been added to the game. And even though we have had so many crossover items in Season 5, they are definitely going to be so many more added to the game over the next few seasons. Moving on to the number 6 position guys, we have the content creators. We all have someone on our friends list that is a content creator, whether they make challenge or highlight videos on YouTube or even stream on Twitch. It doesn't matter how many subs they have, whether it's only 10 or even a million, but they are going to be grinding out the game at every chance they get. They probably have YouTube or TTV in their epic name and definitely have one of the best lockers in the game too. Even if they aren't the best players in the lobby, they will definitely work very, very hard to improve every single day. Moving on to the number five position, guys, we have the wannabe trade. Tryhards. The wannabe tryhards are basically the players that use the best tryhard skins, the best tryhard pickaxes, and make the best tryhard combos in the game. Even if they don't have the best mechanics, they aren't going to be as good as the Fortnite pros like Benji Fishy and Mongrel, but they are still going to make the best combos you will ever see. These are also going to be the people that have a lot of potential, and if they try hard enough, they will definitely become a Fortnite pro in the future. Moving on to the number four position, we have the Season Grinders. These are also really known as the Battle Pass Grinders, and they are going to grind out every Every single challenge and every single battle pass tier as soon as the new season releases. They are going to unlock every single skin in the battle pass without buying any tiers and will do it so, so quickly. These are also the players that will unlock all of the extra skins that are included with the battle passes, including the gold skins in season two, the hollow foils in season four, and of course the brand new zero point skins in season five. With the brand new Fortnite season less than a week away, if you guys are one of the seasoned grinders, then you should be very, very excited. Moving on to the number three position, guys, we have the Fishermen. These are the players that are the designated fishers of the squad. They probably land at Lucky Landing or even Misty Meadows and instantly get a pro fishing rod. They will definitely land near the water so they can immediately get the Slurfish and heal up to a hundred shield. And that way they are going to have some really amazing loot from the fishing spots as well. They are going to have a stacked loadout and you definitely don't want to come across a fisherman. They will also have completed all of their fishing collections in every season, which is actually something that not too many people do in Fortnite. Moving on to the number two position, guys, we have the performance mode players. If you don't know what performance mode is, basically it changes the way your whole game looks just so you can get a little bit better performance. It changes all of your graphics to look like it is the mobile version of Fortnite and you will get some extra frames per second. A lot of pros do this because it does make their game faster, even though it does make the actual game itself look kinda trash. I have never used performance mode, but if you have, let me know what you think of it down below in the comments. Is it a good thing to use or should I just stay using the regular graphics? And finally guys, coming in at the number one position, we have the Fortnite Rushes. These are the players that are very similar to the Hot Droppers and of course the creative players as well, but they fight everyone. It doesn't matter if they are a hundred meters away or in the next building, they are going to rush you and immediately start fighting you. They will definitely be practicing a lot of box fighting as well because I can guarantee you guys right now, as soon as they see you, they are going to box you up and definitely do some absolutely insane peace control to get the kill. These Fortnite rushes are going to have some of the best building mechanics in the lobby and they probably do have some amazing aim assist 
as well. These players are definitely going to have at least 15 kills in every single win they get and probably grind out solo squads as well. But there you guys go, that is my video on 20 types of Fortnite players, which one are you? Make sure to let me know in the comments down below what kind of player you think you are. Are there any other kinds of players that I missed? Let me know in the comments down below as well. And if you guys do enjoy videos like this, I can definitely make some more in the future. If you guys do want to help support the channel even more, then make sure you do go down and hit that subscribe button if you are new. Hit that like button as well. Let's try and reach 3,000 likes on this video and click one of the videos on your screen now. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.